Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel if y'all are new. Today I'm filming my top picks for the Sephora VIB sale. The Sephora sale happens a couple times a year. If you are VIB Rouge, you get 20% off. If you're a VIB member, you get 15% off. And then an insider gets 10% off, which means you haven't really gotten a lot of points. You're just a member in their system. You gave them your information and all that. Either way, you could still save a good amount of money if you are having to refill a couple of products or just want to purchase some new products and try them out. In college, I was obsessed with going to Sephora and would literally blow all of my money on all these products, but now I've kind of slowed down because I don't really need that many anymore. The last couple of things I bought from Sephora are skincare related because I feel like this is like one of the best places to buy really good skincare. So that's what we're going to start off with today. If you guys are interested in any of these products, learning more about them or just adding them straight to your cart, you can click the links in the description below. This will take you directly to the products so you can add them to your cart and get your savings. I will warn you guys, my products are super dirty. I don't know why I just can't keep them like they came, but they're just not as pretty as they once were and it's just sad. But we're gonna start off with my favorite skincare product that I've repurchased and it is the Cora Organics Turmeric Brightening and Exfoliating Mask. I am obsessed with this product. I recently refilled it because my sister gave me a Sephora gift card for my birthday and I just decided to refill this because it is just my tried and true. Like I said, I was obsessed with going to Sephora in college and just like wasting time learning about new skincare products. So I would literally go and ask the skincare representatives like, oh, like, do you have anything for this problem or what do you recommend for like dark spots or something like that? I would just like always love to just hear their opinions and their thoughts about different products. It was a long time ago, but I'm guessing somebody recommended me this and I have a really bad problem with just like whiteheads around my nose. They will not go away. I always have to like scrape my nose and just like pimple pop my nose and it's definitely not the best feeling, but this really helps with that. I feel like it just like minimizes all that whitehead sebum oil. This says that it brightens and promotes skin cell renewal. Another problem I do have with my skin is that it's not always even, so I really feel like turmeric helps to even that skin tone out. So I really, really like this product. Highly recommend it. I used to go to spa bar in Orlando to get a facial once a month because I had all that whitehead stuff and I actually had really bad like deep whiteheads in this area. I will actually link that vlog down below that talks about that issue if you guys want to like hear about it. But getting these facials really helped to just get all that gunk out and she did really great extractions and then she always used this mask. This is the Dermalogica Sebum Clearing Mask. She never tried to sell it to me or anything, but I was really intrigued on like what this mask actually was. So I finally bought it and I love using it. Before I get in the shower, I'll just like put it on with like my mask brush and then I will let the steam kind of just do its thing and then I'll just wash it off in the shower like right before I get out. Another thing I learned from my esthetician at Spa Bar, her name's Molly Mann, shout out to you Molly. She said something about like a mask really just working as long as it's in the form that it comes in. So like once it dries, it doesn't really work as well. So that's why I use this product in the shower so that the steam can really just like soften it up and not let it dry out. The last product I have for skincare is really dirty. I don't know how this happened. I think I just like threw it in my beach bag and something got all over it, but it is the Unseen Sunscreen by Supergoop. I'm really bad at incorporating sunscreen into my daily makeup routine, which I know I need to start doing. And I keep saying this, I really just need to like put it on my makeup vanity and just be like, use this, like put a sign. Um, but I do always use this when I'm going to go swimming or like going to the beach or something like that. Um, this is really great to put under your makeup. It's kind of like a primer texture, like you won't really feel it. It's weightless, it's colorless, scentless, oil-free formula. This brand also has a lot of other cool sunscreens. They have like a powder that you can put over your makeup that works and it's just crazy how that works but I guess it does. The so next we're gonna move into hair care and the first thing I want to talk about is this Way texturizing hairspray. I have been obsessed with this. I think I bought this my senior year of college if I'm not mistaken when I had like short hair and I thought it gave me the most beautiful like beachy waves because I do kind of curl my hair like tighter so I'll just spray some of this like up in the roots and then just like brush it out with my fingers, kind of like tossle it. It just loosens my curls to give it a more carefree look. And then the next product is this Playa New Day Mist. And I use this like on the second slash third day 
of like having styled hair, which is not often, honestly, especially because we are in quarantine right now. This product is made to like smooth any creases, so it's just really great to use it on the second day or third day, or honestly, fourth day. One thing I always recommend buying during these Sephora sales are beauty blenders because I'm pretty sure they are only sold at Sephora because I think Ulta sells like the, um, what's it called? Real Technique Beauty Blenders. And I swear they're just not the same. So I highly recommend picking up like one or two beauty blenders. I know all of mine are really, really dirty and I've been using them for like over a year now. So maybe it is time to pick up some new ones for me. I recently posted my updated makeup routine, so if you guys are interested in seeing what exact products I use, then I'll definitely link it down below in the description box. A lot of the products aren't sold at Sephora, so if you guys wanted to see some more affordable products, definitely go ahead over there. But this product right here is one of my favorite things to do in my makeup routine. This is the Huda Beauty Tan Tour Contour and Bronzer Cream. Pretty much it's like a cream that blends out into a powder and I feel like it just snatches my cheekbones so beautifully. Mine is in the color tan and it is perfect. It's like dark but obviously you can blend it out and it's like that cool tone so it's not too orange or red or anything like that. I definitely think that using a cream bronzer will help make it last all day because whenever I use a powdered bronzer it just like fades like a couple of hours later. This next product is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. I'm not the biggest fan of a highlight, but I love this powder because it just gives you that glow from within. I definitely recommend this product if you guys don't love cream products because I know it is easier to have a heavier hand with cream products and powder products are just easier to blend out. Sometimes when I'm not in the mood for a super glowy look, I'll just pop some right on the tip of my nose and it gives a really nice nose highlight. So the past couple of months, I haven't really been going too crazy with my eyeshadow and I've been using like the same two matte colors. And then whenever I do feel a little bit crazier, I will use this beautiful baked eyeshadow from Laura Mercier. This is in the color Terracotta and I feel like it is just perfect for my skin tone. It kind of has like a rose gold brown tone. I really like this because it still allows my makeup to look a little bit more natural because it is kind of like more of a shimmer and not like a heavy glitter. So it doesn't give me like that full glam effect, but it still gives a little bit of pop to my eyes. If you guys are looking for a foundation recommendation, I really recommend anything from NARS. I love the sheer glow. I haven't used it in a while, but I know that when I did use it, I was obsessed with it. Now I'm using the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I've really just been using this because this is like my palest color that I have. Um, I usually use the L'Oreal Pro glow foundation but that's just a little bit darker right now and i didn't want to have to buy like a lighter color if i already had another foundation i started using this foundation just because i wanted to like finish it off and get rid of it but i'm kind of liking it now like i've actually been getting a lot of compliments on my ig stories asking like what foundation i'm wearing because it looks so good so this foundation is what i've been using recently i have two mascara recommendations for y'all i'm going to start off with the roller lash from benefit I'm obsessed with this brush because it has that curved style and the bristles are just so small so it separates the lashes perfectly. And the other mascara that I've been loving is this one from Tarte. I am so sorry, I did not realize this was only sold at Ulta but I'm still gonna be telling y'all about it because I really like it, so here we go. It is the Man Eater Mascara. I actually never bought this mascara, it was actually a free birthday gift, I think it was at Ulta, but I've been loving this mascara, especially in combination with the roller lash. This one has a straight brush, so I feel like it gives a lot of volume. To end the video, I wanted to show y'all my favorite lip products. So this one is from Fenty Beauty. This is the Fenty Glow Gloss Balm, and it is painfully empty. So I think I'm gonna repurchase this gloss, even though I've been using the Glossier lip gloss. I love that gloss, but Something about this gloss, I just feel so cool wearing it. And I just really like the formula when it goes onto my lips. The last product I have is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. It is amazing. I think I have the peach one. I, for some reason, can't find it, but I know it's somewhere in my house. Um, and I love it because it's very moisturizing. If you guys haven't tried any of the Laneige products, definitely get your hands on some during this sale. I also use the lip mask pretty regularly and I love that product too. That wraps up this video. If you guys are interested in any of these products, the direct links will be in the description below. Let me know what other products y'all are buying during this sale because I'm always trying to look for new products to try out. So I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!